today on Nerd Out, non-fungible tokens. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano and we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we're going to be talking about non-fungible tokens. So let's get started. First, I want to do a quick update. I know it's been a couple weeks since I've posted any videos. I just wanted to give you a personal update. So the move from Oregon to Florida is complete. I have my mic back here so I can make some decent sounding videos. Um, I took a little bit of time to help out Jorge from Jorge Pool with his Cardano Rum NFT drop. That was a whole lot of fun. And he's still got a few more if they're, I think they're available on the website token.io. So go over there and grab them and um, help out his pool and stuff like that. Um, Poolperks.io is continuing to grow. More pools are adopting it every single epoch. So if you haven't had a chance to list your pool on Pool Perks, go on over there and drop some cool NFT perks on your delegators. I just got back from Cardano Summit 2021, got the swag on, the hat and the shirt. Um, it was incredible to meet so many of you, um, especially people that came up to me and said, you know, I watch your show all the time and it's the best one on there. I don't think it's the best, but um, it it has a certain audience that has certain certain taste. But so thank you for watching. Um, I hope to keep doing these as long as I can. And the other thing, just coming out of the summit, I really got the feeling that a lot of Cardano's growth so far has been just the behemoth of IOHK pushing and pushing adoption and building out features. I really believe that Cardano's growth in the future is going to come from community-led projects. So I look forward to seeing what you all build in the future. So let's talk a little bit about NFT. So an NFT, did I miss a page here somewhere? Yeah, what is an NFT? Um, it is a native asset on Cardano. It has a supply of exactly one. So only one is made and only one will ever exist. No more can ever be made, or at least the possibility that no more will be made after a given date. So it, there's there's certain reasons why you would want to keep the policy the minting policy open for a little while to you know finish out the mint or whatever before the policy closes and then no more can ever be made of that given uh, NFT or token. Usually it contains some metadata that represents the media animation etc that goes along with it. Um, in the case of Cardano Rum, it was an image that represented a like certificate that. A certificate of authenticity for the physical bottle of rum, which is pretty cool. And the combination of policy ID and name of the token is unique. So that's what makes up an NFT on Cardano. And there may be some, some people that have slightly different definitions than that. That's just kind of what I feel is like an NFT. So let's talk about the policy script. The script determines um, a number of things, but it, it mostly determines how long you're allowed to mint and burn tokens. Um, so if you had um, a script, a script is just a little snippet of JSON that eventually gets boiled down into some Seabor code. But most NFT scripts will have this um, policy of type all so that all of these script pieces have to be true in order to use a script. So in other words, this this policy script is only valid before a given slot on the blockchain. Once that passes, you cannot use this to mint or burn any of these tokens ever again. Um, if you left this off and you only had this key hash and signature, then it would be an unlimited policy. Um, so certain, certain early coins that are fungible, like say space coins, they were minted with an unlimited policy. So maybe they'll do kind of a, a burning ceremony or something for the, for the space coins keys in the future, who knows. Um, so the other thing that you notice in here is this key hash. So where does this key hash come from? This key hash is from the public key that will be used uh, the, the public key that represents the private key that will be used to mint the tokens. And so this kind of proves that when you see this policy, you can guarantee that it was signed by the one and only correct private key. 
And all this is is they take the V key, the bytes of it, and you Blake, Blake to be hash at 224 for the length. And so that's how that gets created. Uh, the next piece is the policy ID. See, how, do, how does the policy ID get created? The policy ID is actually based on that script we just saw in the, in the, the last screen. So it's we take the CBOR of that script, and we so it's compressed down to CBOR. Then we tack on a script prefix tag, which in our case is just a null byte. And then we blake to be hash that whole thing, and we get out a number or a big long string of character of hex characters that is the policy ID. Uh, one thing is if you're buying an NFT to make sure it is legit and from the original author, original artist, um, always verify the policy ID. And any legitimate NFT drop on Cardano will publicly have the correct policy ID on the website somewhere. You can also look on websites like pool.pm and they, they have verified some of the more popular projects as well. Um, so always check that policy ID, otherwise you might end up buying a fake. Um, next thing is the metadata. So the metadata is what actually connects the token on the blockchain to images and media and stuff like that. Uh, it was defined in SIP25 by Alessandro Conrad who created Space Buds, which you may remember that popular, one of the very first um, drop big drops on Cardano for NFTs and Smog who runs pool.pm. So those guys came up with a standard and here's just a quick little example of it. Um, of course you can add a whole lot more things in here for attributes etc. If you you know maybe you're building a whole NFT game you may have a ton of stuff. This is just an example that I pulled off of uh, pool perks for the type of things that you would put in NFT metadata. And so that goes along with the NFT in the minting transaction. So anybody can look at the blockchain, go back, find out, find out where the um, NFT was minted, and then look up this data. And if they need to load an image, then they point it to IPFS or wherever you've got the image hosted, and away they go. So I'm fairly new to the NFT space. I came to it pretty late with like pool perks and fire hose and stuff. So I wanted to give a shout out to some other OGs that I haven't mentioned yet in the space. I already gave a shout out to Alessandro and Smog. Um, Adam Dean and Marco Guerrero, they're kind of giants in the NFT space. If you have a, a big drop you wanna do, if you're an artist, find these guys. Um, they have a, a Buffy bot, I don't know how it works. Maybe someday they'll let me look under the hood. Um, and it is pretty good at doing these big drops and also protecting the Cardano network and sometimes pushing it to the limits. So um, check those guys out. And with that, nerd out. <laughs>